Welcome to Learn with Sayed. I'm Sayed Mahmoud. We are still talking about IELTS speaking. When the examiner asks you something, try to give full, detailed and relevant answers to get the interview off to a good start. Try to avoid short, unresponsive and uncommunicative replies. For example, if the examiner asks you, where are you from? It, obviously, you could say uh, you are from X. Uh, you could say I'm from X, but that is not a good enough answer for IELTS. You should say I'm from X, which is say 35 kilometers from the city Y, which, um, which is the capital city of my country Z, something like that. So that actually gives more details and shows that you are able to be more communicative. And uh, that helps with the uh, IELTS speaking. Try to avoid short yes no answers to close questions. These are the questions that start with have you, do you, or is it, something like that. Uh, these can be answered with yes or no. For example, if somebody asks you, have you been to an English speaking country? You can say yes or no, that is an answer, but that's not good enough for IELTS speaking. What you should say rather is uh, something like, for example, mm, I have, uh, yes, I have been to an English speaking country. I have been to England uh, for the summer of 2012. I went with my family to enjoy the Olympic Games, for example. Something like that. So basically you uh, elaborate the answer, add some more details. That is a better answer for IELTS speaking. As you are aware, in part two of IELTS speaking, the examiner gives you a task card and you have to speak about a certain topic, a specific subject given to you uninterrupted for about two minutes. Now you are given one minute before that two minutes starts to prepare for what you're going to say you have to make sure that you use that minute wisely and make notes of the points that you're going to make. Try to avoid dry, boring, unimaginative introductions such as the object I'm going to describe today is blah blah blah. You know, that's too bookish. You should try to get your talk off to a more memorable start. For example, you could say, if I had to pick the single most memorable thing that ever happened to me would have to be something blah blah blah, you know. Uh, that is uh, that is more of a better start. So that's all for now. I hope that was helpful, but there's more to come. Stay tuned. Subscribe for more.